You are those scars. Right. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bone Zone. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a trombone stand out of PVC pipe for under... Oh, I actually don't know what that's under. Under... I need a calculator. Definitely cheap. $8.03. That's how much I paid, that's crazy. Uh, under $10. Wow, that's so cheap, <laughs> right? So the reason that I am making this trombone stand is because I tend to lose my trombone stand and forget them at gigs and I don't feel like buying one. It's really easy to make. It's a fun little DIY project. I have not actually tested this yet. I'm making all of this up on the spot as this video goes on. So uh, this is all kind of experimental, but I really think that we're gonna have a good trombone stand by the end of the video. It'll be fun, let's do it. So here's what you're gonna need. see what we got here. You're definitely going to need some just basic PVC pipe. This is super cheap. I got it at Home Depot for $2.71. You're going to need some PVC pipe adapter things that look kind of like this. Actually, exactly this one. For the way I'm doing this, you're going to need three three-way PVC pipes. I'm using three-quarter inch pipe and these are for three-quarter inch PVC. You need three of them. You're gonna need a PVC pipe coupler, I think is what it's called. It pretty much just extends the PVC pipe. Uh, you're gonna need a, some way to cut the PVC pipe and I bought one of these for really cheap. It's just a little miniature hacksaw. And then also you're gonna need to get a mini plunger. And I say mini plunger because that's gonna be what holds the trombone up and I think if it's too big, that it's gonna be hard to hold the trombone. But for this project, I'm using a mini one. I think they're called sink, yeah, sink, sink plunger, sink and drain plunger. So yeah, all this stuff here you can pretty much get at your local hardware store. So now I'm going to measure and cut all my pieces of PVC pipe. And I'll, I'll share the measurements with you guys too. You're also going to need a tape measure and a sharpie to make the measurements. So I took a trombone stand and made some measurements on it to give me some ballpark estimates of what this, uh, the, some, some of the cuts that I'm going to need to make what length they're gonna be. Probably doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it's just, you know, close enough, you know, I think it's gonna end up working for what I need it for. Okay. Move the right here. Um, okay. Okay. So the top portion is gonna be nine and a half inches. Move so that out. Nine and a half. Again, these don't have to be exact. The next portion of the trombone stand is going to be 24 inches, so two feet long. And I'm going to be making the legs one and a half feet each, and I'm going to need four legs. So, maybe I can use that later or something. Well, I hope I have enough. I should have enough. All right. That should be all my measurements. Now I need to cut them. These, these are all, these are all the pieces that we're going to need. Now that we got that out of the way, it is time to put the pieces together. I may or may not need glue. Um, I'm not sure how well these are gonna hold together. I think they're gonna have a pretty tight fit though, so we'll see. Let's do the legs first. So I just realized I'm gonna need to make two more cuts. So we're gonna take our extra pieces. We're just gonna cut them in half. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut it in half. One second. <sighs> <laughs> that was tough. I needed these pieces and you'll see why in a second. They are approximately five inches, six inches. Now I'm ready to put them all together. So we're gonna make the leg portion of this first. That's where you're gonna need three of 
these. You're gonna need three of these. And the four legs. And yeah, that's pretty much it for now. All right, let's put them together. The first thing we're gonna do is make the center part of the legs. Pretty much just gonna take these two smaller pieces, the, the little five, six inch pieces. I'm gonna attach, let me make sure I'm in the camera. And attach it like that. That's gonna be one. So this is gonna be the middle right here. The part standing up is gonna be coming from there. Then I'm gonna take this, and you're gonna attach it like like that. Get on there nice tight. Yeah, I don't think that's going anywhere actually. Make sure it's nice and straight. I might put some glue on the centerpiece so it doesn't move around when the trombone is on there. Take this part, take this part, put it in there. Again, nice and tight. Definitely want that tight because the trombone is going to be held on this. That's why, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to put glue in there maybe later, but got that. Last part will be the same as the other side. Oops. Sticking on right there. Y'all can see that, how that is. Okay, now let's attach the legs. Okay, it's pretty much an H. It's gonna be a giant H on the bottom. Yeah, that's nice and tight. Oh yeah, this is, this might be a little bit too big. Again, like I said, I, I didn't test this before. These are all just me guessing how this is gonna work, but this is definitely gonna hold a trombone. If you guys, um, if you guys come up with some cooler designs, mention it in the comment section. And tell me how you guys did this. But this is the absolute best I could come up with. Oh yeah, that's that's good. Okay. Ah. So if you guys can sort of see where this is going. Oh, I put the wrong piece in there. No. I'm an idiot. I'm a dingus. Okay, I messed it up. This is this is the the leg. That's the tall part of it. Okay. All right, and this is what you're gonna pretty much end up with. Here, I'll do it in this camera. So this is what you're gonna end up with. <laughs> it's so big. Um, if this is too ridiculous, I might. what I might do is I might just chop off the ends of this just a little bit, just so it's a little bit less ridiculous. But yeah, I think, I think this is gonna work. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach the first leg, or the first, uh, I don't know, part that holds the trombone. It's gonna just go right there. Ooh. Really tight. Oh yeah, that's gonna be moving around. So what I'm gonna do here, so this is what I got this coupler for. It's pretty much just like an extender, a PVC pipe and extender. You'll definitely be able to see that. Um, you'll definitely be able to find that. But pretty much this is gonna hold, well, this is where the plunger comes into play. This plunger here, um, it's, well, you'll see. You'll see, I don't need to explain it. I don't know why I would explain it and then just this don't need it anymore. Oh yeah, that's gonna be perfect, I think. So what I need to do now is I need to cut out the middle of this approximately three quarter inch so it can slide down this PVC pipe. I'll be able to just put it right there. And that's what's gonna hold the trunk. You can probably just use a kitchen knife or something for this. I'm gonna use a utility knife though, I'll be right back. So yeah, this is actually a box cutting knife, but I think it'll work. So let's cut this out. Be super careful, don't cut yourself. But yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna cut this little top part off and make a, make a hole. Yeah, definitely cut away from your hand. You, you're not gonna wanna cut yourself. Ooh, ooh, don't wanna ruin it. Kind of just like mixing tools, figuring out how to do this. Oh yeah, that's gonna work a lot better. Yeah, that worked. So this is gonna go right there. So you can kind of see where this is going. That's gonna go there and hold the trombone. And then the last piece, and then this is gonna go through that. So that coupler is kind of holding this plunger so it doesn't fall. Might have an idea for that though. 
So check it out. I'm still working on it. So we got this plunger and it goes up here, but the hole is big enough, but I don't want it to like fall down when the trombone is on it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some electrical tape and I'm gonna wrap it around this part right here to, just to make it a little bigger. You can, you can use, I don't know, you could use duct tape, scotch tape, whatever you wanna use to just make this part thicker so this doesn't fall down. So let's do that real quick. I'm gonna take some, a little bit of aluminum foil just to make this part thicker so I don't have to waste so much tape. Oh yeah, that'll work. Oh yeah, that's good. Let's check that out. Now this is gonna go right on. Oh yeah, that's gonna work. It's gonna work right there. One last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little part right here in the brace, I'm gonna glue it because it wants to slide around a little bit. Well, I'll show you. And if you got a trombone up there, it's gonna do you no good because you're gonna have it and you put it on there. If it's P-bone or something, it'll probably be fine, which is probably what I'm gonna use this for. But if it's a, like a metal trombone, your trombone is destroyed. Heavily damaged, so I'm gonna glue that. Even though I hate waiting for stuff to glue. If you really wanna be secure, I would use something strong like super glue or something like that. You know, you definitely don't want it tipping over. It is strong. I want everyone to know this is definitely strong, but. It's if it's a heavy trombone, it's not gonna be strong enough to hold it forever, so. I'm gonna put a little glue on everything here. I should have done this earlier. Get really tight in there. See, now we've got this part again. Oh my God, that is in there. All right, I'm gonna do this fast because this is pretty quick drying glue and I definitely don't want it to be crooked. dry man I'm really... all right well so <laughs> super glue definitely works it's that's not coming apart uh, it's actually just a tiny bit crooked but that's okay because this is all very experimental all right, I think that's it I think I just made a trombone stand <laughs> that's it I just made a trombone stand for under 10 bucks that's pretty sweet yeah I'm, uh, yeah I definitely got to do a test but um yeah, let's test this thing out. Here, let me, I'll show the finished product. Look at that. Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna chop the, the ends off here so it doesn't look so crazy. I think it'll still hold it, but uh, be right back. Okay, made a couple adjustments. Here we go. Oh yeah. That's a trombone stand. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> I think, yeah, like I said earlier, I think I'm going to chop the legs off a little bit so it's not so big. Um, but yeah, that totally worked. You know, if depending on the size of your trombone, that's a little bit high for me. I could chop this off a little bit. It totally works. It's a trombone stand. Here is the final product. Oh, yeah. So what did I do? Um, so I put a little, the end of a glove up here and I taped it down so it doesn't scratch the trombone. Uh, I chopped off the end pieces a little bit and now this is a p-bone again I'm gonna try a metal trombone but p-bone yeah that works look at that that's a trombone stand under 10 bucks the floor is not flat here so if it you know it seems kind of wobbly but I could do better but you know what this is pretty awesome look at that how cool I'm gonna try a metal one this is a heavy trombone here. Let's try this out. This is my big daddy. This is my big trombone. Let's test it with this guy. Let's see if it works. I'm a little nervous. Hey, look at that. It works. I want to make sure it's definitely, uh, ooh. 
again, this is not like a flat surface. I'm in a basement here, so. Man, yeah, that works. That's a big trombone. <laughs> it's wobbly. It's wobbly, but you know what? If you just need a cheap trombone stand and you just, you know, you just want to keep it in your room, this is a great idea. I mean, look at this thing. It's just PVC pipe and glue and tape and a plunger. Ten bucks, ladies and gentlemen.